Okay, y'all, let's go thrifting. I needed some therapy, and so we're going to hit the thrift stores. We are at the American Thrift Store in Biloxi, um, and when you walk in, you are just faced with all this Christmas decor. And I cannot stress enough, if you are wanting to change your decor, wanting something different, maybe just starting out, hit up your thrift stores because they have a little bit of everything there. And, you know, they're pretty good on the prices, some of it, you know. Some of it you have to kind of shop around and know what your big box stores like Hobby Lobby has and what they charge because they can trick you with that sometimes if you're just not aware of it. But, yeah, definitely check out your thrift stores. Now, these intrigued me, and I thought about getting them. I thought they might be really pretty on my tree this year, but I didn't need them, y'all. This is me showing restraint. <laughs> Are y'all proud of me? I showed restraint. But I do love checking out all the Christmas decor because you just never know what you're going to find. And I love looking at all the art. Um, I really take into consideration like what it is. Is it something that I can just change a frame? Or, you know, can I just totally redo it? You just never know what you're going to find in the art section. And I really, really love looking at it. Honestly, art is probably one of my weaknesses. <laughs> I just love it so much. Art and dishes and linens. <laughs> oh, my. Again, more more Christmas stuff. They still have some fall things. But I just kind of scan the aisle and just see what catches my attention. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all something in a minute. When we get over to looking at the vases that I was just like, really? I mean, at least pay attention. It's coming up here. Um, you just really <laughs> you just have to shake your head sometimes. This piece right here. Okay, so it's $5.99, right? And on the bottom, there's a raw sticker. And it was originally $6.99. And they're charging $5.99. I mean, really? Get it together, thrift store. Get it together. It just, you just have to shake your head sometimes. Now, y'all know I got to check out the frames. You just never know what you're going to find in the frame section. And I'm always looking like for Delana more so than myself. But I do like to find the, the pretty vintage frames. Now, this one, I contemplated. I almost, I almost brought it home. I was trying to think, you know, how it would look with all of my stuff. But ultimately, I did leave that behind. And then I move on down to the candles because this is the store that I bought that Bath and Body Work candle that I just loved. I just finished it and I was really intrigued by this piece, but then I saw where it had been broken. So I was just like, uh, no, I just put that back. And y'all know I'm not leaving without looking at the mugs. So we're going to look at them real quick and then we're going to hit another aisle. But check out your thrift stores if you're needing candles for decor. Because look at the variety. And here we are at the mugs. I love them. I just always have to look. Even though I'm not in the market for one. I don't need one. But I did find one that I thought. Man that would have been really cute for like Valentine's Day. But it didn't have a price on it. But anyway I left it. I didn't need it. But now we're going to hit you know the dishes. And another weakness of mine.
I thought this was so cute. And it was only, what, what does that say? Four, a $6.99? Uh, probably a little too much. But I was thinking, like, with my sugared fruit in it, or gingerbread, or just a little tree. I just had all kinds of ideas. And then this, I, I thought was really pretty, but I didn't need it. I'm trying to be good on the dishes, y'all. I really don't need anything. I don't need any platters. I don't need any, you know, pieces like that. But I just can't not look at the dishes. I just love them. And I'm always going to look at them because you just never know. I may find that piece of ironstone stuck somewhere with all the craze. And you just never know what you're going to find. So I'm always going to look. And I thought this was really cute for Christmas. Put some candy in that. But I'm going to continue to look at these, and then we're going to hit another aisle. Y'all, <laughs> when I seen this, automatically I thought of fancy gray poupon mustard. <laughs> I was like, man, that's that for that fancy mustard. We don't use that at our house. We just have the old plastic containers that they come in, stuck in the fridge. You pull it out, squirt it out of the mustard container. But I guess that's like for the the fancy folks, <laughs> not us. <laughs> Y'all, look at this reindeer. He is in horrible shape. And do you see what they wanted for him? They wanted $4.99 for that thing. <laughs> he is not worth $4.99. But anyway, check out your hardware section. You never know what you're going to find. And y'all, I have found hidden gems on this aisle. Like Crocs and different things stuck uh, over here on this aisle. So I always check it out. And then the lamps. Y'all know I got to check out the lamps. And this was so pretty. I could just see... The lamp that it was on at one time. It probably got broke. And they just donated that part. And then these. There was two of these. And I just thought they were so pretty. Oh my goodness. I just loved them. And I was trying to figure out where I could put them. But I don't have anywhere. But they were pretty. And y'all. I love looking at the bagged hardware section. It's right at the end of this aisle. I love looking at this section. You just never know what you're going to find over here. I have found all kinds of things here. But I'm fixing to show you a bag that uh, it had this cast iron like bottle opener in this bag with all this other things. Now this bag was like, I think it was $1.99. And look, it is full of so many things. And that bottle opener alone was worth that. Now this is the other... American Thrift Store. This is the one in Ocean Springs. And I really liked this piece. I could just imagine that kind of being painted like gold and having a beautiful Christmas arrangement in it. I'm in Christmas mode, y'all. My mind is just on Christmas. And then I thought these were really pretty. You know, if you had that, if it went with your like decor style, I thought they were pretty. And this, I thought about our office. It looked like a little Jeep, like an army Jeep or something. But they wanted like $8 for it, and I was like, I didn't have anywhere for it, but I thought it was cute. Now, this piece I'm fixing to show y'all, I could just imagine a cute little Christmas tree in this. Isn't that pretty? But I certainly do not need it. I have plenty of Christmas decor, and I did not need it, so I put it back. But I thought it would be really cute with a, 
a little Christmas tree in it. So this wreath I thought was so pretty and I could not believe they only wanted $2.99 for that. I was like, what? That is such a good deal, but I didn't need it. And I put it back, but I was really surprised by their price on that. <laughs> Normally, they would mark that up to like $6, but hey, maybe they're learning. And I couldn't help but look at the little whatnots. Um, these reminded me a little like, home interior whatnots. I don't know if it was, but it didn't have a price on it, but I thought it was cute. But I definitely like scanning this aisle to see what just jumps out at me and catches my attention because you can find a lot of great items on this aisle to do like thrift flips and stuff like that. So I always, always check this aisle out. And I could not believe this grinder was on here. Um, and it had definitely been used. And they wanted like $4.99 for it, which I did not think was a bad price. I almost picked it up for the booth, but I was like, mm, I just really was on the fence about it. So I left it behind. I don't know if that was a wise decision or not. Y'all, don't sleep on your thrift stores if you're needing a Christmas tree. I know these don't look the best, but once you fluff them up, add lights, decor, I mean, they had some nice trees there. And, of course, your girl's going to have to look at the pillows. What is it with me? And pillows and linens and dishes and art. <laughs> I just love it all, y'all. I love it all. But I do like to look at the pillows because you just never know. Just honestly never know. You may find a pillow that you just did not know that you needed until you seen it. <laughs> but I thought this was really pretty. And I, I, it was in really good condition. But, y'all, I don't need it. I'm trying to be so good. And I need y'all to say, a girl, Donna. a girl, you're doing so good. <laughs> All right, are y'all ready for this thrift haul? It's a good one. It's very, very good. So I went to my favorite thrift stores, the American Thrift Store, the one in Biloxi, the one in Ocean Springs. And that's, this is where I scored most of my finds. Well, all of my finds. I didn't get anything at the Goodwill. The waste of my time to go in there. But not everything is for me. I've got a, something for Delana, something for Sarah. And then the rest is like, for me, a couple things for the booth. So let's get started. First things first, I did pick up four little trees just like this. Um, and they were $1.99 a piece. And I'm gonna use these probably in my, my decor, but I may even like scatter them in my booth, you know, when I start decorating it for Christmas. But I thought $1.99 was fair. So I did pick them up. Now I'm probably gonna change this um, if I use it to where you can see this, um, but yeah, 
uh, and I have something for that. So if I decide to change it, but I did get four of these. Okay. I picked up two towels for myself. We go through towels pretty regularly around here. I love this. This just says Christmas. It even says like winter. So I picked both of these up. There was two of them and they were $1.99 and they were in great condition. So I'll just throw them in the washer and have them ready. These are even great like to use in your bathroom to add a little bit of festive uh, festiveness to your bathrooms. These are really cute to use. They won't go with mine, but I do use like kitchen towels in my bathroom, but I already have some for it. But anyway, pick those up. All right. I picked this up for the booth, this clock. I already have some or I would keep it for myself, but I did pick this up and uh, I'm just going to see. I'm going to see how it sells. It may not sell. And if it doesn't, I'll bring it home and put it in my decor. But then again, it may sell may sell so we'll see all right this i'm on the fence about whether to keep it or put it in my booth but i picked this up i've never seen one with the blue on it like this and i love it so i will most likely keep this um but i just i had to get it y'all it just i just had to i just had to get it and I did pay $2.99 for this, but I love it. Okay. These next two items, I'm probably going to keep one and I may put one in my booth. They're just a light, but look at these. I'm assuming they're vintage powder jars, like your face powder or even body powder came in. They smell like powder. Um... And I love them. I'm actually going to utilize one of these and put my powder in it because I just think it is beautiful. Look at that. And they're both the same. And I may end up using both of them. They're very heavy glass jars. I think the lids are, are plastic. But I paid $2.99 a piece for them. But I love them. And I just think they will add a touch of elegance to your vanity or even like if it's not going to be seen just you using it you know kind of makes you feel a little special so i did pick these up like i said i'm definitely keeping one but i may end up keeping both of them i just think they're so beautiful so i did pick those up okay this next item when i spotted it i could not believe nobody had picked it up and maybe they had just put it out and i just got lucky but look at this iron stone picture Mm -hmm. Y'all know I'm keeping it. There's no mark on the bottom, but I'm pretty sure it's iron stone, and I paid $2.99 for it, y'all. Look at that. The sucker has got some weight to it, and I just love everything about it. So, I'm keeping it. I did pick up a bagged item, and I'll show you what's in it. Um, I paid $2.99 for the bag. And let me get it open. Look at this cute little brass candle holder. And then there's two of these. Now, normally, these don't sell very well for me. But I'm going to try it. Or I'm going to use them in my Christmas decor. I'm not real sure yet. But there was also these cute little pottery bowls. They're so cute. So I will definitely put them in my booth. Um, there's three like this. Oh, I guess these would go around, sit around this. I don't know. But there's three like this and one like this. They're so cute. It's probably missing a couple pieces. That's what it's, it's missing two pieces, but it's still cute. So I'll probably put them in my booth, um, you know. In case somebody wants them. It's, they're really pretty pieces. Okay. I got another bagged item. I picked this up for Sarah. And I'm going to show you why. But I'm probably going to keep this um, silver. The silver fabric. Anyway, I paid $3.99 for this. And I'll show you why I picked it up for her. They had this beautiful toile fabric. And it's Christmas. It's all about... 
the angel coming to the shepherds, the star, it's got the wise men on it. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I had never seen anything like this. Look, it's got the nativity. It's gorgeous, y'all, and there is a lot of it. And so I took a picture of it and I sent it to Sarah and I asked her, does she want it? You know, I didn't know if it would go with her Christmas stuff, but she's also decorating some people's houses for Christmas. And I was like, I've never seen the Christmas, the nativity in this print. And, um, it's absolutely beautiful. So she was like, yes, I might can make some pillows or something. And I just, I thought it was gorgeous. Y'all have you ever seen this print with the nativity? I mean, this is what it's all about. So I did get this for her, but it had a few more fabric remnants in it. it has this little piece. So not much of it, but you just, you know, you hold on to these kinds of things cause you just never know what you'll, you might find a piece. I hear some blue and white check. I'm thinking this will be cute for spring. This will be enough. Like if I get a piece of furniture that needs to be covered or something, hold on to this. And then of course I thought about this for Christmas. I used this one year, well, several years. I got it in gold and used this as a tree skirt. I would wrap it around my tree. So I'm probably gonna hold on to this. And if she don't want it, if she needs it, then she can have it. But I just thought that was, I love this. It's so pretty, but I'm doing more golds. But I might can use this. I would use this in my booth, like to decorate my booth. But that was what was in this bag. But I loved this fabric. I just loved it. Nativity Twall. That's what it is. It's gorgeous. So I got that for her. I picked up, I know y'all gonna be so shocked and surprised. Ooh. But I picked this up for Delana for her gallery wall and her entryway coming in off the garage. This is a Hobby Lobby piece. It was regularly $39.99. And I paid $4.99 for it. I did send her a picture and ask her if she wanted it. And she's like, yes. Um, and you can hang it this way. This is how it's designed to hang. Or you could also hang it this way. But $4.99, that was such an amazing deal. And it will go with her stuff. So I did pick that up for her. All right. Couple of more things. Um... I picked this up. I'm probably going to keep this. Um, but I picked this up and I love it, y'all. Look at it's got a piece messed up here and there's a little piece here, but I don't even care. It's super filthy and dirty. But y'all, I love this so much. And I'm thinking about taking a piece down in my guest room and putting this in it. I happen to love the imperfections because it is definitely an antique piece. Um, I have not Google lensed it, but it's got Ferguson on the back. Ferguson Brothers Manufacturing, Robo Roboken, New Jersey. It's got a number on it. Um, and I did pay $7.99 for this, but y'all, I love it. I love it so much. It's not heavy. Um... And I even was sitting in the store and I was like, you know, we could even take this top piece off if this whole top piece off if we had to. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use it like it is because I love the imperfections of it. So I got that. And then I have one other item to share with y'all. And I did buy this for the booth. Oh, this piece of hair. Um but I don't know if it works, but we'll see. Look at this beautiful lamp. <laughs> and y'all lamps don't sell for me. I don't know why, but this may sell. I don't know, but look at this. It's, it's heavy, y'all. It is so heavy. This is how it goes like this. Um, this is what the bulb looks like. Um, and we're gonna plug it up and see if we got lucky and it works. 
because I love this lamp. I could just see this in the right person's home. I just think it is absolutely beautiful. So I didn't try to plug it up before. I wanted y'all to see my, my true reaction. <laughs> so let's see if it works. All right. It works. Oh, what? It works, y'all. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love this and somebody's going to love it. It is absolutely beautiful. It just needs to be cleaned up, but it is gorgeous. And this will definitely be going in my booth. This sucker is heavy. And I was also thinking that if it didn't work and we couldn't make it work, we could I could still use this base for something. My mind was just going a mile a minute. But no, this will be going in the booth. And I just am so excited about that. So that is my thrift haul. Not too shabby, hey? Not too shabby. I I love everything that I got. And I just, I'm so happy when I can find stuff for my girls too. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. I'm not gonna have any of this styled. Um, I'm fixing to get in there and start cooking and editing. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I love spending time with y'all. And I love it when I can take bring y'all with me, um, show y'all around in the stores. And then when I can also show y'all what an amazing thrift haul I found, so. Y'all, can y'all believe this? Oh, can y'all believe this? I can't believe it. Anyway, that's it. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.